Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time is definitely a crazy one. It's kind of a part two to a story time I told a few days ago. That story time was called Taking Acid on the Last Day of School. And I didn't tell this one first because this one's definitely crazier, and I wanted to have it be like the part two. Now this story time takes place before that story time, but it's kind of a part two because I'm uploading it second, if that makes any sense. Anyway, today's story time is definitely a crazy one. Before I jump into it, just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. It's January 1st of 2022 as I'm recording this, and I hope you guys had an awesome 2021. I hope you guys did a bunch of awesome stuff, and I hope 2022 is even better for all of you. And I hope I can continue to entertain you through the 2022 year and years to come. So anyway, let's kick it off with this awesome story time that I've been waiting to tell you guys. Now before I start, one last thing. You know my story times are for entertainment purposes only. I just gotta say this. Don't go out and repeat anything I talk about in these story times just because you heard it in a video. I'm sure you guys know that by now, but I have to be safe and give you guys the disclaimer. Anyway, let's start this shit. So today's story time all starts off on the first day of 10th grade. Now, I was definitely a little bit miserable on this morning because summer break was over. I had to wake up at 6 in the morning. I did not feel like going back to school. I was pretty fed up with the idea of waking up at 6 a.m. already. But anyway, yeah, I woke up at 6, got up out of bed, took a shower, got dressed, ate some breakfast. My mom walked in the kitchen. She was like, hey, you ready for 10th grade? And I was like, yep. But in reality, I was just in my head thinking like, I'm dying inside. So anyway, shortly after I talked to my mom, the bus pulled up, I got on the bus, I went to school, I walked into school, I grabbed my schedule from the main office, and I was just taking a look at my schedule and figuring out where to go for first period, because it was all new classes, and I'm just at my new locker, putting things away, organizing it, and one of my friends walks over to me. Let's just call this friend Jared. Jared was a menace. This dude would do anything he could to get some quick entertainment. And when I mean quick entertainment, I mean like anything. That dude would just get in trouble for the fun of it. And he walks up to my locker with a huge smirk on his face. And before he could even open his mouth, I was like, Jared, what are you smiling about? He's like, yo, dude, I got something on me. You want to see it? I was like, let me guess. It's shrooms, weed, or acid. It's one of those three things. He goes, you're right. I was like, wow, I'm a psychic. And he's like, try and guess which one of the three it is. And I'm like, all right, all right. Um, weed? He's like, nah. I was like, shrooms? He's like, yep. I was like, cool, man. Why are you telling me this? He goes, oh, I think you know why I'm telling you this, Austin. The reason he was telling me this is because in the past, me and him would do things in school like smoke or just kind of get in trouble together. And he knew that I would probably agree to do the shrooms with him. But this time I was like, nah, man, nah, like it's the first day of 10th grade. I'm not trying to get expelled on the first day. Like the principal already doesn't like me. I think I just need to take it easy. And he's like, all right, man, well, if you change your mind, I'll be here waiting. And I was like, all right, man. So I go to my first period class. I sit down and the whole day just starts off to a terrible start. I sit down in my class and this girl sits next to me eating cereal out of like a paper bowl and she drops it on our desk and it spills all over me. Not her at all, just me, all over my lap and white milk all over my black clothes. Well, it just looked really noticeable to say the least. And she's like, oh my God, I I'm so sorry. Like, you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Just a little uncomfortable. And she's like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm such a klutz. And she reaches into her backpack and grabs me a napkin and hands it to me. And I'm drying myself off. But it's not enough to dry me off at all. There was way too much milk everywhere in places that you never want milk to be. And I look over at the teacher and I was like, excuse me, do you have any paper towel up there? And she goes, no, why? I was like, because I just got milk spilled all over me. And she goes, well, I don't have any. I was like, can I go to the bathroom? And she goes, is it an emergency? I was like, yeah, I'm covered in milk. And she goes, okay, fine. So I get up, I walk out of there, I go to the bathroom, I walk into the bathroom, and guess who's standing there eating a big fucking mouthful of shrooms? None other than Jared himself. And he goes, damn, what happened to you? I was like, I got milk spilled on me. He goes, shit, man, your day's off to a rough start. I think I know what might help make it better, though. And I was like, Jared, no. He's like, come on, man. And he holds the bag up in the light, and he goes, join me. And I look at him, and I look behind me to make sure no one's coming in the bathroom, and I look back at him, and I was like, okay. Yeah, that's how much I just didn't give a fuck at this point in my life. It didn't take much convincing. So yeah, without hesitation, I ate a bunch of shrooms with my friend in the school bathroom. And after I ate them, my friend shook my hand, and he goes, have fun. And I was like, thanks, dude. And I turn around, and I walk out of the bathroom back to my first period class. 
So I walk into first period. I sit down at my desk. I still look like a carton of milk exploded all over me because getting that off me was not easy. I sit down and the girl looks at me who was sitting next to me and she goes, hey, I'm really sorry again. I was like, it's fine. And then right after I sit down, an overhead announcement comes on in my classroom and it says, Austin to the main office. And I'm sitting there thinking like, oh shit, what did I do? Like, I didn't do anything wrong. There's no way they could have known that I ate those shrooms. There's no way. Like, how do they know? Like, why am I getting in trouble? Why am I going to the main office? And I just start freaking out. My mind starts racing and I get up, I grab my backpack. I walk up to the main office. I go into the main office and the lady at the desk is like, hey, Austin, so uh, we called you up here because the vice principal needs to talk to you. And I was like, what? The vice principal? Why the vice principal? And she's like, well, the main principal is not in yet, and it's not a really urgent matter, so the vice principal is going to handle it. You can go in her office now. So I walk into my vice principal's office utterly terrified about what's going to happen because, like, I don't know what I was in trouble for. So I sit down in the chair. My vice principal gives me this look up and down, and she goes, what's wrong? You look nervous. And I was like, yeah, uh, uh, what, am I, what am I in trouble for? Like, just stuttering out of fear. And I'm looking at her and I'm literally seeing shapes around her head because I'm literally starting to have a shroom trip kick in while I'm talking to her. And my eyes are wandering all over the room. And she goes, Austin, calm down. You're not in trouble. I was like, really? And she goes, yeah. Is there a reason that you think you're in trouble? Did you do something today? I was like, no, not at all. Just clearly lying through my fucking teeth. And she proceeds to start talking and saying something about a scheduling issue with my schedule. And I completely zone out because there's literally floating shapes in the air and I'm hearing weird things and I'm seeing weird things and my perception of time is all fucked up. And yeah, I basically end up completely zoning out for the reason that I'm there and I completely just don't hear a word she says. And I quickly zone back in when I hear her say, Austin, are you even listening? And I was like, yeah. She goes, what I just say? I was like, you said something about a schedule, like there was a schedule mix up or something. And she goes, yeah, what else did I say? And right after she says that, I get the weirdest feeling in my stomach, like the strangest feeling. It felt familiar, but different. And I was like, what is that? And I looked down at my stomach and it starts kind of like rumbling. And she looks at me again and she goes, Austin, are you listening or not? And I was like, I'm sorry, I, I just don't feel very good. And right after I said that, she goes, what, what do you mean? Now, just a warning, this next part of the story time is really gross. So if you can't handle gross things, specifically topics about throwing up, don't watch the rest of this. But anyway, yeah, my vice principal goes, what? What do you mean? And immediately I grab my stomach because it does not feel good at all. And I proceed to throw up all over my vice principal's desk right in front of her. Clearly, I ate a little bit too many of the shrooms. And my vice principal starts freaking out. She's like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, are you good? And I was like, I think I need to go to the nurse. And she goes, yeah, go to the nurse right now, honey. Like, go. And I stand up and I grab my backpack to leave. And I notice something. Now, this part's really gross. But on her desk, there is like little bits of shroom all over her desk. Like, there was a couple of them that you could clearly tell they were mushrooms. And I was like, oh shit, I really hope she doesn't notice that. That's all I was thinking. So I quickly grab my backpack and I run out of her office, down to the nurse's office. I go in the nurse's office. My nurse gives me some water. She lets me lay down. She calls my mom, tells her that I was throwing up, tells her that I'm sick. And my mom comes to school like 10 minutes later, or at least I think it was 10 minutes. My perception of time wasn't very good because I was, you know, tripping a little bit of balls. But my mom walks into the nurse's office after she gets to school and she's like, what's going on, Austin? I was like, I'm really sick. I must have ate something that was like expired or something this morning. And she's like, okay, like, don't worry. Let's get you home. So she helps me get up. Me and my mom walk out of school. I apologize to my vice principal before we walked out of school. Said that I was sorry for throwing up on her desk. And she's like, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And I get escorted out of the school by my mom. And I go to her car. I sit down. And my mom looks at me. And she's like, you don't look very good at all. I was like, yeah, I don't feel very good. Little did she know, I was still seeing shapes in the air. I was still very much feeling the effects of the shrooms, even though I threw a lot of them up. So anyway, I went back home to my house. I drank a bunch of water. I laid down in bed, just kind of played some Xbox, and I rode the rest of the trip out from my bed. And everything was all good. Until the school day ended, my friend called me, and he goes, Yo, I heard what happened. 
I was like, what? How the fuck do you know what happened? He's like, one of our friends saw you walking out of the main office and you didn't look very good. He told me you looked really sick, so I figured the shrooms kicked in or something. I was like, oh, okay, that's what you heard. Yeah, I was sick. I got pretty sick and I got sent home. And he's like, what do you mean sick? I was like, I threw up on the vice principal's desk, bro. He's like, oh my fuck, no way. I was like, yeah, I did. And he goes, can I tell people? I was like, don't fucking tell anybody, please. Like, don't tell anyone at school because word spreads. and I don't want the vice principal knowing that that's the reason I threw up. And you want to guess what this motherfucker did? He told everybody. When I walked into school the next day, everyone was roasting me about it. Everyone was saying I had a lightweight stomach. Everyone was just trying to get at me for it. And I didn't give a fuck because, well, I just didn't give a fuck about what they had to say. Their opinion really didn't mean shit to me. But luckily, the vice principal never found out the reason why I threw up. So that's good. And everything in the end was okay. I didn't get suspended, didn't get expelled. I definitely probably came close to it. Like, it was very obvious that something wasn't right with me when I was talking to my vice principal. And I think if I wouldn't have thrown up and got sent to the nurse, she would have found out sooner or later that I was tripping. But yeah, luckily that didn't happen. So yeah, guys, moral of the story is don't repeat any of this shit I just talked about in this story time. Simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. I thought it was a really crazy one. In the end, everything was all good. Definitely learned a lot of valuable lessons in this story time. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.